Hey, welcome. Today I'm going to do something really special. I'm going to do my favorite thing, which is to take you through an I'm Enough guided hypnosis. Why do I want to do that so much? Well, in my entire career as a therapist, I found very early on that it's the biggest block people have. So before we start, I'd like you to think of any ways that I'm not enough maybe showing up in your life. Do you need more? Do you need more food, more followers, more likes, more attention, more praise, more stuff? Are you always buying stuff? Do you find you can't keep money? Is it hard to ask for what you want? You see, the I'm not enoughness shows up everywhere. It certainly shows up in addictions. It shows up in a lack. It shows up in needing so much more, more attention. No matter what you've got, you need more. It also shows up in not being able to keep money, not getting a pay rise, not going after a promotion, holding back from starting your own business, writing something you've always wanted to write. It gets in the way because it's so insidious, the I'm not enough. And I, I felt it for years, so I know what it's like. So today I'd like to use hypnosis to take you back to find out where it came from, because here's the thing. Have you met a baby that says, don't look at me, I'm not enough. I haven't got any hair. I got milk spots, I've got no teeth. I've got triple thighs down here and a fat tummy. Don't look at me. Of course not. You were born certain you're enough. In fact, you had unshakable, unwavering conviction that you were enough. So now that we understand that you acquired this, I'd like to take you back and show you how, where, why, when you acquired it, and then the magic. Let's get rid of it forever. So before we do the hypnosis, let me explain something. Hypnosis does not send you to sleep. It wakes you up to your phenomenal, incredible potential. It's simple. You can't stay in hypnosis. You're not going to bark like a dog or cluck like a chicken or reveal your innermost secrets. Because you know, you go into hypnosis every day when you're deeply engrossed in a movie, when you're driving home on autopilot, you're already in hypnosis. And what we're gonna do is have you roll your eyes up like that, keep them up, close the lids, drop the chin. You're going to go into an alpha brainwave and completely safe. You go into that brainwave a lot throughout the day, but in that brainwave, you are more receptive to good suggestions. So what happens in that brainwave is you let old suggestions go and you let good ones in because something matters happens in hypnosis. In hypnosis, you drop into a network of intelligence where your mind influences your body. And in that state of hypnosis, you can go into that network and you can actually influence your body. You can send out different messages to the body and interpret the ones coming back. I'm not exhausted. I'm just tired. I'm not scared. I'm excited. So we're going to use hypnosis because it allows you to make powerful, permanent changes that wire in and fire in super quickly. So let's begin. So the first thing is to make yourself comfortable. Uncross your feet. If you can sit in this position, it's a very receptive position. It doesn't matter if you can't, but just don't sit like this. So sit in an open position. Make sure you're comfortable. All you're going to do is roll up your eyes. So let's practice that first. We're not doing it, this is just a practice. Keep your chin exactly where it is. Roll up your eyes as if you're trying to look into your eyebrows. Keep your eyeballs up. Keeping your eyeballs up, just close the lids down. You might be aware of a slight fluttering in your eyelids called REM. That's a good sign, it means you're already a great subject. Open your eyes. Now let's do this for real. Keep your chin where it is. Imagine you're trying really hard to look into your very own hairline. Roll your eyeballs up, breathe in, breathe out. And every time you blink, deep, powerful healing hypnosis is coming upon you. Keeping your eyeballs up, breathe in. The more you blink, the faster hypnosis is coming upon you, breathe out. And just one more time, breathe in, keep your eyeballs up, keeping your eyeballs up. As you exhale, keep your eyeballs up at the same time. Just close your eyelids right down, all the way down, and now forget all about the position of your eyeballs. Drop your chin so you have that very same looking down feeling that you might get as you look over a balcony or down a flight of stairs. You are looking down 10 steps. Right now, you're moving on to step 10, perfectly letting go. You're moving on to step nine. In fact, you can see your feet. You can hear your feet. You can even feel your feet connecting to each step as you take step eight and each muscle. Every nerve turns loose, lets loose, and you go deeper. You're taking step seven, going deeper into an awareness of yourself. You're taking step six, going deeper. 
with every sound you hear. Every sound, every noise, every movement around you is flowing through you, taking you deeper into powerful, healing, wonderful hypnosis. You're taking step five. Already halfway down, you're going deeper with every sound you hear. As you take step four, the sound of your own breathing is taking you deeper as you take step three. The sound of your heartbeat is taking you deeper into powerful, wonderful, beautiful healing hypnosis. You're taking step two, going deeper. You're taking step one, just go deeper, deeper, deeper. Now here's the thing. The question is not, hey, am I in hypnosis? It's, hey, am I accepting a suggestion here? Because that's all hypnosis is. Let's take you to a state where your mind begins to accept good suggestions. So let's do it. I want you to imagine that you're putting all of your attention on your fingertips. In fact, put all your focus on your fingertips right now. And I want you to imagine there's a tingling sensation. You have pins and needles in your fingertips. And as you focus on that tingling, it's increasing all by itself. And you can just notice that happening. The more you focus on the tingling and the pins and needles in your fingertips, the more you focus on the more it increases all by itself, the more you can just notice that, observe it. But I want you to move that tingling all the way down to your palms. I want you to move it all the way across the back of your hands. I want you to increase it and increase it and increase it. And just notice that you're thinking a thought. And here's the magic. You are already making that thought real as you think about your fingertips tingling. Your body is making that thought real. That's so cool. Think of all the other thoughts you can make real once you know how. But now, I want you to move that tingling to the tips of your toes. I want you to focus on your toes. And I want you to focus on that tingling. And the more you think about the tips of your toes tingling, the more it's increasing, the more you can notice it. Now move that tingling from your toes down to the ball of your foot, move it to the arch, move it to the heel so that the soles of your feet are tingling. Move it back to your fingertips. Because you're learning, you can even move things around your body just by thinking about it. So you just pass the first test. And now we're going to do something way more profound. We're going to go back and have a look at how, why, where, when you learned that you were not enough. Now, I told you at the beginning, when you were born, it is not possible you didn't feel enough. You cried when you wanted to be fed. Hell, changed. You cried when you were bored. No baby is born and so I'll just be really quiet here because nobody wants me. I'll just sit here, lie here and do nothing. Babies cry on demand. They demand attention. Why? Because they have a thought that says, I'm going to demand attention here because I know I'm worth it. Someone is going to come and take care of me because I am worth it. I promise you, you were born with that. Let's just have a look at what happened. Then we can get rid of it and remember something I love. The word cure comes from within the word curious. I want you to get curious. When did I believe I wasn't enough? What happened? How old was I? What was going on when I doubted my enoughness? And why am I still doubting it all these years later? That's a very good question. We're going to answer that today because understanding is power. You can't heal what you can't understand. But when you can understand it, you can become free of it forever. You can become empowered. And by the way, we go back and we think, oh, that song reminds me of when I was dating in high school. That smell reminds me of my grandmother. That taste reminds me of being a seven-year-old kid having an ice cream on the beach. So smells, sounds, textures, we go back all the time. So you're going to go back quite safely. I want you to just let yourself breathe. I'm going to count backwards and your brilliant genius mind is going to take you back to a scene that is all to do with why you've allowed yourself to believe you're not enough. You see, your mind is a bit like Google. The subconscious mind is always on. It's always on record. It never runs out of power. Just so you can say, hey, Google, tell me about this and click and Google answers. Well, the mind is the same. When I say, hey, subconscious mind, take this person back to how, where, why, and when 
They bought into not being enough. Your memory bank is going to go to work and find that invention. In fact, it's already finding it now. Even as I speak to you, I'm doing that quite deliberately because I, as I'm speaking, your mind's already going back. It's already getting that information, ready to push it. So let's go. On the count of five, you are drifting back to a vivid, vital, crucial, powerful scene that is all to do with how, where, when, and why you ever believed you're not enough. On the count of four, you are becoming younger, smaller, lighter, shorter on the count of three and two. Years, months, weeks, days are peeling away from your body. On the count of one, you are drifting right back, going all the way back to a vivid, vital scene that is the cause, the reason, the root of you believing you are not enough. Just be there. As I click my fingers, a scene is filling up your mind. It's rather like you've switched on your laptop. The picture's coming into focus and you are right in the middle of that scene. You're right in the middle of the screen. And you know the answer to every question I'm going to ask you. Very simple question. So here's the first one. In this scene where you are now, is it daytime or is it nighttime? Are you inside or are you outside? Are you on your own or are you with somebody? How old are you about? But here's the only question that matters in this scene where you are now. What are you doing, seeing, feeling, and experiencing? I want you to see what you saw. I want you to feel what you felt. As I click my fingers and count to three, your ears will open. You're going to hear exactly what you heard then that's tied into why you think and believe the old lie that you're not enough. Here it comes, your ears are opening on the count of one, two, and three. I want you to hear exactly what was said over you, around you, in your line of hearing. Hear what you heard, see what you saw, feel what you felt, and remember, when you're going back, you've already gone through this experience, you can't relive it, you can only review it with fascination. Stay in that scene, what are you seeing, hearing, feeling, see what you saw, Hear what you heard, feel what you felt. I want you to look at that scene and think, oh wow, yeah, look at that, of course, that's why I bought into this lie. Stay in it for a few minutes longer, look at it with fascination, look over that scene, look around that scene, look through that scene, use your adult perception to understand how the little you in that scene felt the way you felt. You see, when you're a kid, you learn things that make perfect sense to a kid. And before the age of five, you have no logic, only feeling. Look over and around that scene with fascination, with insight, with curiosity. Let me take a long, hard look. Yeah, of course. Of course I understand how that scene led me to thinking I'm not enough. And then just put it to one side, because we're going to do this two more times until you have three scenes to look at. So put that one to one side. We are coming back to it. Let's go back to another scene. On the count of five and four, again, you are becoming younger, smaller, lighter, shorter. On the count of three and two, years, months, weeks, days are peeling away from your body. On the count of one, you're drifting right back, easily going back to a vivid, vital, crucial scene that is the cause. The reason the very root of you buying into not enoughness just be there. And this time it's like you've switched on a television set. The picture is warming up and there you are, right in the middle of that screen. You're in a scene and you're able to easily answer every question because it all comes back to you perfectly. This scene where you are now, is it daytime or is it nighttime? Are you inside or outside, on your own or with people? How old are you about? And here is the only question that matters, and you know the answer. What are you doing, seeing, feeling? What are you experiencing in that scene? Right now, you can see what you saw. You can feel what you felt as I click my fingers. One, two, three, your ears are opening. You can hear exactly what you heard then. I want you to stay in that scene with fascination. 
with curiosity, with insight. What are you seeing, feeling, hearing? What's going on in that scene and how is that linked to you growing up? Believing you're not enough. Look over, look around, look right through that scene, understand it, make sense of it, learn from it. Put it to one side. And we're gonna do this just one more time because this scene is going to be the most vivid, the most vital, the most profound, the most powerful scene to do with how you ever accepted or believed or allowed yourself to even think that you're not enough. That's not true. But when you think it enough, it might as well be true. So let's have a look at where that came from because this is the key to being free. One more time on the count of five, you are easily drifting back, traveling back, moving back. Years, months, weeks, days are peeling away from your body on the count of four. You are becoming younger, smaller, lighter, shorter on the count of three and two. Your brilliant genius mind has located the scene that is the cause of you not feeling enough. It's pushing it into your mind on the count of one right now. Just be there. And again, it's like you've switched on a computer. The screen is warming up and there you are in the middle of a scene able to instinctively, intuitively answer these very simple questions. This scene where you are now, is it daytime or nighttime? Are you inside or outside? Are you on your own or is anybody with you? How old are you about? And here's the question that's the most important. What are you doing, seeing, feeling what are you experiencing in that scene. I want you to see what you saw, feel what you felt, and as your ears open on the count of one, two, three, here it comes, I want you to hear exactly what you heard. What is someone saying to you, about you, around you? What is going on in that scene? I want you to imagine you're like a detective, and a detective looks at a picture and they make sense of it. A detective looks at information and makes sense of it. So let's all be a good detective. Imagine you're looking at that third scene. You're looking over it, around it. You're looking at it with x-ray vision. You're looking at it with perception, with insight, with curiosity, even with fascination. You're saying, wow, look at that scene. Let me look at that scene and understand how that scene and others just like it too, allowed me to feel I wasn't enough. So with fascination, with insight, with perception, look over, look around, look through that scene until you can say, oh yes, of course. Of course I can see how that scene and others like it led me to buy into the fact that I wasn't good enough, smart enough, attractive enough, worthy enough. There were so many ways for us to think we're not enough, none of them are true. But when we feel it, they feel true. Take a little bit longer and look over and around and through that scene. You're doing this all in hypnosis, which is a wonderful thing because in hypnosis, a critical factor that goes, mm, shuts down. The critical factor that that's not going to work, shuts down. When the critical factor shuts down, you have access to so much information that can change your entire life. I want you to imagine now that you're holding those three scenes in your left hand as if you're holding three snapshots or indeed three DVDs of your life. You're holding those three scenes in your hand just like a good detective and you're saying, oh, let me look at those scenes and understand. And I want you to put out your right hand and imagine you're holding an image of you in your right hand, an image of you where you just don't believe you're good enough or smart enough or worthy enough or interesting enough. So in your left hand, you're looking at pictures from your past, those three scenes where you just learn not to believe you're enough. And in your right hand, you're looking at the thing you're going to make right today. Here you are today still believing you're not enough. Imagine you have ticker tape running between your hands and it's printing out on it the answer to this question. How did those scenes, how did those three scenes from your past lead you to believe you're not enough? So we asked your mind a very specific question. Show me mind how, where, why. 
I ever bought into being not enough and your mind didn't pick anything at random. It doesn't do random. Your mind went back and it picked specific scenes that have been stored in your subconscious and showed you how it impacted you, how it affected you, what it did to you. Today, like a good detective, look at those scenes in your left hand and understand how they affected you, how they, what they did to you, how did they impact you? How did they lead you to procrastinate, self-sabotage, believe you're not? How did they lead you to avoid change, to be scared of rejection, to hold on to limiting beliefs? How did they cause you to limit yourself, to get right in your own way? That's a question you can answer perfectly right now. Be curious, ask yourself that question. And then just let yourself go deeper and deeper and just let it all go. So now we've got this information, what do we do with it? Well, here's what we do with it. I want you to go back to scene one. You're holding it in your hand, a snapshot or a DVD. And I want you to tell me, tell me to the, why that isn't you. You're going to say, that's not me anymore because, and I want you to give it everything you've got. I want you to say it with conviction, passion, power, joy, elation, freedom. So let's imagine as a kid you wore your second, you wore secondhand clothes or hand-me-downs. You didn't ever have a nice lunch or you had to lift candy bars. You didn't have any money or the kids at school picked on you. When you say that's not me anymore because, because I have lots of candy, I have my own money, I wear my own clothes. I'm not that kid that had no power. Maybe you always thought your brother was smart or your sister was preferred. There are so many ways we feel not enough. They are not true, but they feel true until you set yourself free with, that's not me. I just realized that's a poem. Set yourself free with, that's not me. Let's go. You are going to shout at the screen, scream it out. Tell me why that isn't you. Let me show you how this works. You're going to say, that's not me anymore because, and you're going to add in, because I'm not three, because I have money, because I can eat what I want, wear what I want, I have power now, I don't live with those crazy people, I realize I was loved, my sister isn't better than me, I'm not whatever the teacher said I was. You can add the ending. I'm going to give you the beginning and you are going to seamlessly add an ending. So let's go repeat after me. That's not me anymore because add something powerful to that. Give it everything you've got. And let's do it again, still on scene one. That's not me anymore. That will never be me ever again. Say that, that's not me anymore. That will never be me ever again because, and finish that sentence. Shout it out, scream it out justify to me on the other end of the screen why that is not you and will never be you ever again. Give it everything you've got. And let's go to scene two. If you need longer, you can come back and do this again and again and again. Let's go to scene two. I want you to shout out, repeat after me these exact words. That's not me anymore because... Complete that statement. Do it with passion. And just one more time, still in scene two. That can never be me, repeat after me. That can never be me ever again because, complete that statement. And now let's go to scene three. And I want you to make a little different. I want you to say these exact words, that's not me ever again for the rest of my long, gorgeous life because. Let's go repeat word for word. That's not me anymore for the rest of my long, gorgeous life because, complete that statement, do it with passion, do it with energy, do it with unshakable, unroving conviction and certainty in your voice. And the very last one, that cannot be me, repeat after me these exact words, that cannot be me ever again for the rest of my long, gorgeous life because, complete that statement. And add in, because I matter, because I'm lovable, because I'm enough, 
because I'm significant, because, 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 and keep adding more because, as I just say, because I'm lovable, because I'm enough, because I'm significant, because I matter. And take a deep breath. And if you want to do this more, then when this session ends, you can go back and you can spend 20 minutes telling yourself why that isn't you. And you'll notice the more you do this, the less you feel like that small child. And the more you feel like the free, empowered adult. So now we've cleared that away, let's just do one more minute. Now we know what you aren't. We need to know what you are. The words that follow I am will follow you. The words that go after I am will go after you. So I want you to repeat after me again with power and passion in your voice. I am enough. Say that now. And again, I am enough. I want you to repeat every sentence I'm saying word for word. I am enough. I am more than enough. I am always enough. Keep going. I have always been enough. I always will be enough. I am enough. And let's have some more I ams. I am wonderful. I am lovable. I am significant. I am gifted. I am talented. Let's do this just one more time. Repeat after me with passion in your voice. Shout it out, scream it out. I am enough. I am lovable enough. I am good enough. I am worthy enough. I am enough. I am lovable. I am significant. I am gifted. I am talented. And for the last 30 seconds, I want you to add five more endings to the I am. You can say I am beautiful. I'm magnetically lovable. I'm a genius. This is your choice. We're going to say I am five times. You're going to pick five different endings. You can use my endings. I'm enough. I'm lovable. I'm worthy. But let's have some new ones that are applicable exactly to you. Ready? One, two, three. I am. Keep going. And another one. I am. third one, I am. And the fourth one, I am. And the fifth one, I am. Put your hand on your stomach and just notice how it feels to say all those powerful things about you. Just stay with me for just another half a minute. I want you to understand one thing that's so powerful for so many of us. For all kinds of reasons, our parents didn't appear to love us. And we didn't feel loved. And when our parents don't appear to love us, we don't stop loving them. We stop loving ourselves. Today is the day you make sense of that and take back self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, self-value, self-image, and you elevate it. So notice how good it feels to say, I am lovable, I am worthy, I am amazing, I am gifted, I am talented, I am magical, I am smart, I am beautiful, I am amazing, I'm meant to be here, I'm gifted, smart, incredible, and I can have everything, wealth, love, success, joy, health, happiness. You really can have it all. And you know what, you can even have it all, all the time. If you believe you're worth it and you know how to get it, so take a deep breath. Hold on to that feeling of excitement and freedom and empowerment. Open your eyes and come back into the room. And later I'd like you to tell me how that felt. Like, just send me some messages. How did that feel? What did you go back to? What did it look like? What was it like to say, that's not me and that can never be me ever again? Because the truth is it can't be you. Life doesn't go backwards. You're not going over there. You're going over here. And you can never be that child, even if you wanted to. You can only be you. The you that knows you're enough, that you're worthy, that you really can have it all. It takes a balancing act, but you know what it really takes? It takes a belief that I'm worth it and I deserve it. You may not have had that for years and years, but today, just as you install better software into your laptop, you can install better software into you and you can begin to know you are worth it. Of course you're enough. How could you not be enough? Someone said to me once, you know the words rapid, they don't belong in front of therapy. I'm like, why not? 
Who told you that? And is that true? Of course they belong. Why does that mean long and painful and hard when it can be easy? So I created a therapy that was indeed rapid, powerful, transformational, a whole basis of RTTs to give people therapy that's fast, powerful, permanent, or pervasive, all the Ps. We say, how long does it take to change? Is it 21 days? It can be 21 seconds, it can be 21 minutes, it can be 21 days. You get to change twice every single day of your life. The first change is when you change a thought. You change a belief and a belief is nothing more than a thought that you think a lot. So when you change a thought and change a belief, you change an action and you change a behavior and you can change twice every single day. Change a thought, change I'm not enough to I am enough. And see how changing that thought will change how you behave, how you act, how you react, how you feel. Because in a law of thoughts, feelings, actions, thoughts always come first and your thoughts are yours to change. RTD is designed to be fast, but also powerful, and permanent because we wire in fire and encode in the beliefs you should have been given when you were being raised. You see, the job of parents and schools was to help you go through the world with high esteem, high self-esteem. They didn't know that, but you do. Your job is to raise your self-esteem every day by using so many of the techniques within our TT, particularly the I'm enough. I found as a therapist that it was the fundamental thing that was lacking in almost all of my clients. They all lacked it, but it's very easy to get it back. Install it, wire it, fire it, code it, and until it's not what you do, it's who you are. And then when it's who you are, you're always winning. And if you like this, I'd love you to watch the next video. In the next video, you're going to see some of my sessions. You're going to see me working with clients, doing exactly what I did with you, giving them the same treatment that I gave to you. And you'll see the profound changes taking place right in front of your eyes. You'll see how fast people can change and how they can change for the better and keep the change. And if you're not changing for the better, you're changing for the worse. If you're not choosing to change, the direction of your life and make it change for the better than you must be choosing to stay the same. Watch this next video and see how easy change is, how powerful it is and how fast it is and how you can have all of that too.